Introducing first, from your darkest fears, weighing in at 310 pounds, the world champion, the Wick Flyboy. Three on three action coming up, guys. And we're looking at six of WWE's greatest here in this one, Michael. This match should be incredible. Tell us all about The Miz. The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B Show to the Show. A star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did The Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have a Miz. And their partner from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, Johnny Munson. Guys, we have a huge six-man tag team match coming up here. For me, Michael, the biggest storyline heading into this match will be whether or not these teams can truly coexist. started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here.
Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. These two superstars are set to lock up for their respective teams as this six-man tag gets underway. Six superstars, two teams, and let's face facts. We can see anything happen here. Sit back and enjoy, guys. It's not every day you get to see six big-time names like this in the same match. You know, even though the title is not on the line, and this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Here's the tag. Up top, high impact crossbody. Oh, oh man! It'll destroy your face. All measured up. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. Well, this he certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. Hooked up. Oh, man, what a driver. Talked about the moment. Oh, what impact. He's looking at it. He's got him covered. And he stops the count. Lucky him. What a strike. Got their opponent. Snake eyes. Watching your opponent do all the fighting. Gets the tag. Oh, and Insiguri. Oh, right to the back. 
Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erics. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Oh boy, he is rolling. No, there's the reversal. Great effort, but he better save something for later in the match. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. I'm talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the world's... Uh -oh. Knee. You gotta believe this one's over. The man was able to get out of the way there. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Near a count out here, Corey. It would be a shame if this ends in a count out, Cole. He wants no part of the outside. Thanks to Raw, General Manager Kurt Angle, in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on... Looking for the win. Absolutely spiked DDT. He's not looking like himself here, but not for a second do I expect him to back down now. Byron, we always make a point to he looks for it once again. Six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times that we have seen him here before. DDT. Looks like he start. This could end it in a hurry. Is he done? He 
forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. What a stop. Good grief. to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referees count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Oh boy, he is rolling. Get another look at those six superstars going head to head and toe to toe. I remember this part very well. Man, oh man, look at that. Look at him go. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. When you bring such a high level of intensity to the match, good things are bound to happen to you. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match.